Hello world, Prof Mike Green back with lesson six in our video series, learning how to code with codecademy.com and the JavaScript programming language. Uh, your screen might not look like this. This is carried over from lesson five. Don't worry about that. Should be blank. This video is talking about comments. Uh, if you've used other languages like CSS or HTML or PHP, uh, pretty much every programming language has some way to be able to comment and it simply means it doesn't get executed whatever you put on that line is for your eyes only it's behind the scenes it's really helpful for documenting what's happening with the code in case you have to give that code to somebody else or you inherit somebody else's code helps you figure out what's going on here without actually uh, kind of showing what's behind the curtain and in JavaScript, one of the ways we do that is by typing the double forward slash at the front of the line. You can see as I remove these, uh, now things begin to, A, I get some errors because it doesn't know what this means, and it doesn't become grayed out. Most good uh, text editors will gray out comments for you. It's very handy. It makes it easy to spot. So on line three, uh, what we want to do for this is simply uh, find the length of the word cake cake is a string so we're going to put it in double quotes and length is one of the properties of strings we covered that in a previous video again if I wanted to say uh, comment that out put the double forward slash this is no longer going to be evaluated if I hit submit nothing happens and it tells me hey something's not right we'll go ahead and take these away submit the code cake is four letters long we're good to go Thanks for watching.